Section 4.6, Congruent Triangles. So up until now, we know how to prove triangles are congruent. We can prove triangles congruent in five ways. We have the side, side, side postulate. We have side, angle, side postulate. We have the hypotenuse leg theorem. And this is for right triangles. We have the angle side angle postulate and the angle angle side theorem. Notice, and this is very important, angle angle side, sorry that shouldn't say angle angle side, that should say angle side side. Let's change it to black. There we go. Angle side side is not a possible reason. And that's because we do not use any cuss words in math. So if that helps, angle side side is not a possible reason. And let's look for a moment why that might be true. If I have a triangle that has a particular measure, perhaps 40 degrees, one length side and another length side. So there's the angle, the side, and the side. Well, I can construct a triangle that does look like it, that has the two congruent sides, and the third side creates the 40 degree angle. And yes, those triangles would be congruent. But I can also do this. And make it so this angle is 40 degrees. Notice. Triangle ABC is not congruent to triangle XYZ. Even though they have two congruent sides and a congruent non-included but corresponding angle. It still doesn't make them, the triangles themselves congruent. So angle side side is not a possible reason. Okay, now that we can prove triangles congruent, we can use those congruent triangles to show that the corresponding parts are congruent. For example, if we were able to show by one of our five ways that triangle ABC was congruent to triangle XYZ, we then would know that angle A is congruent to angle X. That angle C is congruent to angle Z. And that angle B is congruent to angle Y. We also know that side AB is congruent to side XY. That side BC is congruent to side YZ. and that side AC is congruent to side XZ. And this is because whenever we have congruent objects, their corresponding parts are congruent. So a common reason that you will see is after we have proven congruent triangles, we can say that any of their corresponding parts are congruent, and that's because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, or we can abbreviate this as CPCTC. Make sure that you have CPCTC down on your growing list of common reasons that we use in proofs.